Hi Virgo, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to start with whatever comes out. Let's see. What are the important messages for Virgo? It says be lighthearted. So some of you guys are going to find something out. I do see something coming to light, coming to the light here. Okay. And it may, it feels healing. Okay. Um, but you may have to adapt. I'm getting like adapting to finding out the truth. You're going to find something out. All right. Something that's been weighing on your heart here. Your guys are asking you to find the silver lining with that dragonfly energy. Let's see. The dragonfly and the butterfly. So, you know, I really feel like there's a lot of healing happening. Some of you guys is inner child healing, okay? You're growing, you're moving to the next phase in your healing journey. So I feel like your guides are really, they're, they're telling me they're here to support you. Continue healing, continue moving forward. If you are already connecting with someone, I do see you entering the next phase of this relationship. Talking. Some of you guys are going to go from just talking to someone to getting to know them on a deeper level. Okay, talking more with someone. I'm also getting an awaited message arriving, a text, call, email. Receiving some sort of message or, or phone call you've been waiting for. We got stabbed in the back. Then we have lightning. There's some sort of shocking reveal. Okay, and I feel like it does truly catch you off guard. I know that's like a dramatic way to put that, but it's it's very shocking. It comes in suddenly. For some of you guys, you have really been waiting for a phone call. I'm not sure what the phone call is. You've been waiting for it, and it comes in. It's a good surprise. How do I want to say that? Don't be overly paranoid for people to betray you. Okay, don't be. However, I do feel like there's something you're going to find out about a person. I don't think it's somebody you're in a relationship with I th or, or a romantic. Rel I don't. For some of you guys, there's there's someone you're connecting with that's not romantic. And you do find something out about this person. They may have been working against you behind the scenes or trying to, for that matter. I do feel like you might, if you're, if you're talking about something to someone and your intuition is telling you that they're spreading your personal business, you're correct. They are telling others about your personal business. So just be mindful of who you're telling what to. Okay. Angel number for Virgo. Give me an angel number for Virgo. Don't be too generous with your energy, Virgo. It says you have a heart of gold and you are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. Now, intuitively, I'm getting, you don't always have to be the one that fixes everybody, or you don't always have to be the one that's overly generous. Some of you Virgos may be so nurturing to other people around you, overly generous, like you're kind of like the mom or the dad of the friend group, but it could be depleting your energy. Maybe like pull your energy in just a little bit. Yeah, it's 666, me as a reader. That's a number of taking a step back and reevaluating why it is you're doing what you're doing, reevaluating your life in general and the energy you're putting out there. Now, 666, it says, uh, you know, you're centered or, or, you know, try to remain balanced because a wake up call for you to reexamine your current situation and change the direction of your thoughts so you can raise your vibration to a more positive frequency.
good advice from a wise person. I see you meeting new connections, new friendships. With handshake, owl, someone who's on your level when it comes to like your wisdom. Yeah, hand, handshake. And then we have sun. Something about hands are really standing out here. There could be something going on with your hands. Happiness and well-being. This is what you need to put first. You can't pour from an empty cup, okay? You have to make sure you're energized and, you know, you have to make sure your energy is replenished. And, you know, if you don't schedule time to do these things for yourself, the universe definitely will schedule the time for you, but it won't be at your convenience. So I feel like there's just a message to make sure you are taking good care of yourself. And I feel like you're meeting new connections here. There's new people entering your life, Virgo. Good fortune. The end to something frustrating. Okay, you've been feeling very... You could be having dreams about beetles or seeing beetles, but the end to a frustrating situation. You're such a loving person. Wow, Lily, Ladder, and Fox. Don't trust um, your coworkers, business. And, and what I mean by that, it's like, just remember that these people, these coworkers of yours, they're just coworkers. All right. At the end of the day, it's a business transaction or, or they're just, you know, it's business. Because with the Fox energy, to me, it says, because it's saying uh, shrewdness and resource, resourcefulness, especially in business. I feel like there are people around you that would throw you in the under the bus if they had to. They would. And so that being said, don't break your neck. Don't bend over backwards for people like that. Your intuition is already, don't be paranoid. Your intuition already tells you this about these people. So it's like, don't break your back trying to help everyone else when they would throw you under the bus in a heartbeat anyway. Right? Um, I do see you're climbing towards success in some area of your life. Maybe some of you guys have been frustrated about your career. There, there's some sort of success coming in. This tells me you're such a loving person, Virgo, with this lily and the beetle energy. You have good karma. You've created some really good karma for yourself that will play out. You're like a well-intended person that doesn't go unnoticed, okay? Let's take a look at you singles. By the way, everyone, I'm going to do some quick messages for all signs here shortly after the Virgo reading. So if you want to head over to my channel, um, then they're going to be very quick, though. Very quick messages. These have been very specific today, and that's why I wanted to make sure y'all got some messages here. Okay. I will have to take a break after this reading, though, and center myself before that, though. All right. Single Virgos, who's coming toward you? Who's coming toward single Virgos? An athlete? Somebody that's physically attractive? Ooh, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Cups. Y'all ignore each other. Look at this. Y'all are ignoring each other. That's who's coming towards you. Specifically, I got an athlete or somebody that's physically active. This person could just be, you know, I'm getting they dress really well. You would, you like the way they dress. Very charismatic personality. Or it's like, not dress well. For some of you, that is the case. But it's like different. There's something about this person's appearance that really stands out. It's very different. It's unusual. You two are you two are ignoring each other. Four of Cups. 
there's unfinished business here between the both of you. It's almost like you two are purposely ignoring each other, or you have been. What do they like about Virgo? The chase. Okay. You know, you're... They want to release this repressed emotion. They like that you work alone or you come across as someone who doesn't need to be around a bunch of people. We have the six of wands in reverse, which talks about like private achievements. So it's like what this person likes about you is there's something about the way you, you know, you could go with the flow or you come across as someone who just is really, you're interested in keeping the peace. You're interested in making your way to calmer waters or staying in calmer waters. And so you may come across as someone that doesn't really associate with many people or you just don't need to. But the Queen of Wands being here, it's like you are social when you need to be. Somehow they know that about you or that's how they perceive you. They also perceive you as someone who's really, you just kind of like move on very quickly from things or move through energy very quickly. It's a very go with the flow type vibe they like from you. Let's see. Devil in reverse. They don't want to get too attached. They overthink this. What's so weird is the very same thing they like about you. Like they like that you kind of just, <laughs> they like that you're going into this opposite direction. Like they like the chase, so to speak. But it's like, at the same time, with the devil being in reverse, it also irritates them. Like, they're really irritated by it. But that's what's attracting them to you. Because the devil in reverse can be like irritation to me as a reader. They want to be detached so bad. Like, this person does not want to get stuck on you. But I feel like they already are. Tell me more about that. Are they not available? For some of you guys are not available emotionally or they don't want to be. Um, specifically, this person might not be available, but they want you. They're looking at you as wish fulfillment. So they're either emotionally unavailable and that's why they don't want to get attached or they're just actually not available. Seven of wands. The more you push this person away, the more they come after you. Virgo is what I'm getting. This person really likes the chase. All right. Be careful with that. Um, let's see. What are their next actions toward Virgo? What are their next actions? The full. <laughs> the full. They're about to throw themselves at you. So, <laughs> y'all, this person's about to make a very bold statement, okay? A bold move here. It feels even, like, this King of Wands, right, for who they are, although they are a bold individual, I'm getting what they're about to do towards you is even outside of their comfort zone. It's very risky. Like, they're about to make a bold move. Like, they just throw themselves at you. Or it's like, they're going to spring communication onto you somehow. Tell me more. The sun. <laughs> okay. They're about to make it obvious that they want you, is what I'm getting. They're like, they, they just want to be seen. Like, I feel like what they're, their next actions is to take a leap of faith. To get noticed by you, seen by you. For some of you specifically, morning time is standing out and evening. I don't know what that's trying to say. Give me a second. This is going to sound crazy, but some of y'all, you may see this person in the morning and then see them in the night. I don't, that's like for one of you. But I'm getting like, they just think about you night and day. That doesn't resonate. That was very specific. Like you live in this person's head. 
High Priestess. Trust your intuition, Virgo. You know this person just likes, like, y'all, they like your mystery. So it's like this person does not know who you really are. Let's just backtrack for a second. They don't really know who you are as a person. Somebody has fallen for your mystery. You're very intriguing to this person, and it's kind of driving them crazy. Temperance. They're going to test the waters with you. We got Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Aries. Could be any sign. Yeah, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. What you don't know is this person's restless over you. They are restless. Let's see. Where is my other sign? Where's my other sign? These dang signs. Where's my other sign? I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Okay, so for this section, guys, this is someone where you had a past incident with. There has been some sort of history established between you two. Something has happened here, right? Something has happened. I kind of want to shuffle these cards up really good. Thank y'all for liking the video. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate the support. Okay, universe. Past current person, which just means there has been a past incident between you guys. Something has happened here. It's just it's a quick way to say that. Let's see. My cats do steal things from me all the time, especially Luna. Luna's the thief, all right? She, her favorite thing, I have to like, I, I, I keep all my hair bows put up in like this little basket thing in my bathroom. And I keep my bathroom closed. But somehow, one way or another, Luna will manage to get in there and she climbs up on stuff. And I've caught her, she takes my hair bows out one by one. She, she just takes them. She doesn't eat them. She's not doing anything with them. She just takes them and she collects them. It's really odd. And another, that's when sometimes when y'all hear her meowing in the background, it's because she thinks she's got something and she wants to show everybody what she's got. That's why she does that. <laughs> okay. What happened here between you two? Someone's not available. This is, uh, you know, you don't, this is, okay, uh, disappointment. So it's like you think the situation is a waste of your time. King of Wands, ooh, but you want them. You want this waste of time. You say, come waste my time, baby, with this King of Wands. Somebody has a big ego. King of Wands can be an entrepreneur. The King of Wands can be someone who comes across as like a leader of some kind. But I just feel like somebody here is not available, right? But there, you know, there's something about them that you just, you really like. Yeah, you're focused on this person that's unavailable. Take it or leave it. If it doesn't resonate, okay. I just saw the King and Queen of Cups. So you're focused on someone, your attention is on someone who is unavailable, either emotionally or physically, like just unavailable in general. You're telling me you don't even trust this person, but there's something about them that like, I'm getting like, you really like them. That's what's happening here. How do they see you? That's how you're going to know if the reading is for you. How do they see you? Six of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify that. You know, they may see you as someone who talks to others. Okay, they see you as someone who feeds others attention. 
Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, the Empress. You may come across as like a nurturer or you're really caring to other people around you. The Empress, Page of Cups. There could be an age gap here. That's a pretty big age gap for some of you. Or, you know, someone here is just a little less experienced. This person is curious as when you're, if you're ever, like they're curious as to why you're feeding other situations. They get curious about that. The do they're obsessed with you guys. They are so obsessed. You know, the one you're obsessed with Virgo, they are also equally as obsessed. Mm hmm. Okay. I also think when you do, okay, six of, it's like, some of y'all are, some of y'all are feeding this monster. Some of y'all are purposely, you could be purposely trying to make someone jealous or look, that's what the card says. I know, not you. You wouldn't do that. Not, not Virgo. It's working. Five of cups. Somebody's feeling a little jealous here when you talk to others or when you're feeding others attention. They feel like they have to beg to get your attention here. Let's see. Strong Capricorn is here. Fire and water. How do they truly feel about Virgo? The fool. Is this the same person from the first reading? Two of Pentacles. This person's feeling pretty dangerous. They're feeling pretty risky. Like they're wanting to take a leap of faith toward you. This is, they're not, okay. So it's like, <laughs> this person, like, I feel like they go back and forth with themselves. Like they want to think things through with the Two of Pentacles. Like they have other priorities they should be focusing on. They know that. But at the same time with the full energy, they just want to forget about it. They want to forget about these other priorities that they have. You both could be juggling here. Yeah. They're not satisfied with the way things have been going between you two. The stagnancy. And so I feel like the stagnancy between you two has caused this person or will cause this person to reevaluate the part or the way they've been treating you, the way they've been interacting with you or not interacting with you, I should say, is what I'm getting. They've actually been pretty fixated on you this whole time, but I feel like they've been trying to hold back. They've been trying to remain detached physically, but mentally it's like you're always there. You're always on this person's mind or for the majority of their day. You are always, you're on this person's mind. Let's see. Very next actions toward Virgo, please. Very next actions toward Virgo. Spirit. Eight of Wands for their next actions. This person's about to show you that they desire you. There's communication coming in from this person. The Moon Strength card. It's like the anxiety and the fear of holding back and never saying anything is, you know, stronger than actually the fear of communicating. They do feel like it would be risky to communicate, but it's like they decide to do it anyway. Two of Wands. Guys, there are other people here. There are other options here. Okay. I'm getting it's more than just you two. Let's see. What's their hidden truth? Their life is not as together as it seems, Virgo. They still have feelings for you and they're wondering how you feel. 
they remember every detail of that day. There could be a specific day, an interaction between you two that this person heavily thinks about or they hold on to. You see that? It says, I'm in a committed relationship. Is somebody with someone else? Virgo? All right, we're going to do all signs, their sign. This is if you are dealing with this sign. All signs, their sign, please, for Virgo. You're dealing with an Aries, a lot of chemistry between you and this Aries, okay? I'm getting you both desire each other equally. They can't make sense of their feelings, though. You're dealing with a Taurus. They're coming straight towards you. Yeah, they, the Taurus wants a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Ten of Pentacles, they want to be with you. Four of Pentacles, the Leo's held back. The feelings are mutual, though, but the Leo is just holding back from you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they're non-committal. They don't know what they want. The Hermit, the Virgo just wants to be alone. The Virgo wants to be single. If you're dealing with a Libra, there's a coming together, a reunion or a coming together. I feel like the Libra has other options, though. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're defensive towards you. I feel like the Scorpio does want a new beginning, but they're in their head about it. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they want to be with you, Ten of Cups. They think you're the one. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Six of Pentacles, King of Swords. Capricorn's manipulative, okay? Be very careful with this Capricorn. I feel like the Capricorn gaslights you, if I'm completely honest. They gaslight you in the past, and they're coming through to do it again. The Aquarius wants to make things right with you and rebuild. There could be an apology coming in if you're dealing with a Pisces or a chance to apologize, depending on the part you played. But I'm getting a, a Pisces coming towards you with an offer. A Pisces that walked away, Six of Swords. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much for liking the video. Again, I'm going to do some quick messages for you, all signs, if you want to join me over there in a few moments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.